I know you guys can feel it. It's the NBA playoffs here on YouTube as it continues, the coverage continues as the Brooklyn Nets take on the Atlanta Hawks. Hmm. This is one of those matchups in which, well, you can look around at this matchup and say, wow, you know, yeah, it's eight versus one. Yeah, the Hawks have had a great season. Yes. But do the Hawks really have a standout star? I mean, when you really sit down and you think about it, come on, man. Paul Millsap is a guy, you know, 20 and 10. Uh, Al Horford is probably the closest thing to it, 20 and 10. And if you don't know what 2010 means, 20 points, 10 rebounds. That's what the standard is for a lot of power forwards, elite power forwards in the NBA. Jeff Teague, you know, not necessarily a 20 and 10 guy, but more so a 10 and 10 guy. Maybe a double, a du double, double. You know what I'm saying? 10 points, 10 assists. Cal Corver, a sharpshooter. Damari Curl. I don't really know if you can say that the Hawks have a standout star. The closest the closest guy to that for sure is Al Horford. Maybe a close second is Millsap. But when this team, you know, in 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 I'm glad that I said the word team. When this team comes together, they're definitely one of the best teams in the league. Last year, they were the 8 seed. They're basically where Brooklyn is now. And you know, they didn't have Al Horford and you can just see like that team was just the complete threat to Indiana last year, and they made Indiana look inferior as the number one seed. They flip to the next year, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're the number one seed, and Indiana's not even here. Crazy, right? So, you know, when you talk about the Hawks, you can't really say that there's any definitive guy from the Hawks that is like, you know, a standout star. And then when you look at the Brooklyn uh, Nets, I mean, Darren Williams, man, there was a you know, Darren Williams scared the crap out of me, man. I was like, you know, where is Darren Williams? We were putting out uh, uh, APVs for this guy, man, trying to find out where he is. You know what I'm saying? Because I've never seen a guy that's been at that height of his game. We were talking about Darren Williams like he was Westbrook a couple years ago. Like he was just unstoppable. And then all of a sudden he just fell off the, place of the, the face of the earth. I mean, he went from elite guard to top 15 guard to top 20 guard to where are you? And then all of a sudden he emerges again and the Brooklyn Nets are here in the playoffs. Yes, they are. And I can't talk about stars without talking about Brook Lopez. The guy is the new definition of fundamental. We talk about uh, Tim Duncan and I'll get to Tim Duncan later. Um, when you watch Brook Lopez play in this series, it'll be one of those situations where you'll be asking yourself, can anybody from the Hawks stop him? And the answer is no. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. The answer is already no. All right. Now, getting into the X factors for the series. You know, I kind of already went over it for the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, you know, Cal Corver, man, Damari Curl, those guys right there, the wing guys for um, the Atlanta Hawks, those guys have to hit their shots. And when they usually hit their shots, Atlanta is almost unbeatable. For I mean, for the most part, they've been unbeatable when Damari Curl and Cal Corver hit the three-point jumper. And if they can hit that this serious man, I'm telling you, it's going to be a tough, tough, tough time for for the Brooklyn Nets. And then when you look at the Nets, I mean, for real, I'm one thing that I really like about what the Nets did is that they went out and they got Thaddeus Young. And that guy right there is a complete threat. If you've seen Thaddeus Young play, he's just a complete power forward. He's the definition of what power forward is. You know, a guy that can rebound, a guy that has a good mid-range jumper. The guy is a complete threat. He's a big body down low. And if the if the Nets are going to win this series, it's going to definitely be because of Thaddeus Young. I mean, yeah, you could say Joe Johnson probably. But I'm leaning towards more so young in this series. Now, get into the intangibles. All right. The things that, you know, can't necessarily be seen or the things that will influence this series the most. I can't really say that there is any in this series, man. I think it is one of those situations in which where, you know, both of these teams are built to make long runs in the playoffs. Yes, I said both teams, even though. 
the the Nets are the eighth seed here, they're they're put together as a team that can make a long run in the playoffs if they're slept on. And if you're Atlanta, don't look at these guys like they're the number eight seed. Look at them like they're the number two seed because if you know if the if Brooklyn had it all together this year, they could have finished in the middle of the pack, probably first. To, I mean, they they could have been up there this year for sure. You know, them making the playoffs is you know a step up, but you know, you know after last year, their expectations went down a little bit. I mean, it was just you know it's 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 a little bit confusing when you look at the Nets, but I think that the Hawks really need to take a look at these guys and say, hey, you know, take these guys seriously. Now, let me just go ahead and get to my prediction because this video is running long. I'm going to say it like this, all right? I'm not saying that the Hawks are going to lose this series, but I am saying that this series should go to seven games. Both of these teams are more evenly matched than what people will tell you. The other analysts don't know what they're talking about. This series is probably one of the most evenly matched series in the playoffs. I'm telling you, it's going to be nip and tuck. It's probably, I, think, I think that maybe out of the seven games, four of them might go to overtime. I, I mean, that's how, that's how evenly matched both of these teams are. Um, you know, it, it'll be a fun series to watch. But ultimately, I think Atlanta should come out of this on top. But don't be surprised. Do not be surprised if Brooklyn takes down the Hawks. Don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. Don't be baffled. It can happen. And I'm saying that it can happen. I'm not saying it will. But I'm saying that it can happen. So let me know how you guys feel. I'm picking the Hawks in seven games. Let me know how you feel down below. It's the NBA playoffs here on YouTube. The excitement. I spent a long time on this video. This is I, I'm look. I'm gonna tell you like this. The music cut me off. This is probably the longest video y'all gonna hear from me about the playoffs, at least until the next round. So until next time, folks. Peace out.